Historically, humans have, have just beaten the crap out of Neanderthals. You could walk around for weeks, you'll never see a Neanderthal. But what <laughs> if we actually had a chance to go fist to fist with them? If you had a ring, you put a human in, Neanderthal, who would win? Um, this seems ridiculous, and that's why we're covering it. All right, is it, is it wrestling? Is it uh, UFC. boxing? UFC. UFC, so yeah. they can tap out? Yeah, they can tap out. There's no eye gouging and no blows to the nuts, I would imagine. It'd be tougher to get to their eyes because they got the that ridge, ridge over their eyes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, Slate has actually written an article They have, about actually. That's okay. why we're covering it. So there's a team of archaeologists, paleoanthropologists, and paleoartists who have like sort of re-envisioned how we see the Neanderthal, and they're not quite as, as beastly and brutish as we'd previously thought. And so it makes it seem as if we might have a better chance against them. And so they lay out a couple of things that they think we should consider. Um, one, that in terms of raw power, the Neanderthal probably has a big advantage because they, they'd wrestle elephants and they'd drag meat around for long, they'd wander, like they'd have all of that stuff. They had so strong raw arms. power. In, in a simple exactly. way of putting it, they had strong arms. Yeah, and they're Not shorter biceps, too. Not but, but other parts of the arm were exactly. significantly stronger. And a lower center of gravity. Now, we would have a reach advantage because we're two to four inches taller, depending on what region of Modern the Modern humans from. are, yeah. Modern humans, exactly. We, like me and Jenk personally, if we had to fight one. Yeah. Um, and also we'd have an endurance advantage, they say, although I don't understand how that follows from all the exercise that they do. Yeah, no, well, bigger not lung volume, perhaps. No, they're comparing the species. It's not like they're comparing an average couch potato from Indiana <laughs> versus a Neanderthal but, but, who's been running around the jungle. <laughs> no, no. But that's the thing. That's what we humans are. Is okay. we're couch potatoes. I, I hear you, but they're comparing okay. the species. Okay. okay, so in our best form, I guess. And so they're saying that that actually we have this image of Neanderthals as squat and brutish. Um, that they're about five foot five, about. But actually, some of the specimens that they found have had arms that are about the size of ours. Um, and so while we'd have the intelligence advantage, the reach advantage, they'd have some power advantage, but perhaps not as much as, as classic ideas of Neanderthals would imply. Um, I, I so think it's so a, what do you think? I think it's a no-brainer, kind of like a Neanderthal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd kick their ass. Yeah. Uh, now look, would some of us lose? Of course, right? Mm -hmm. Some of us uh, would get grabbed by the Neanderthal, and then mm -hmm. next thing you know, you're in a sleeper move, and <laughs> you're done for, okay? Uh, they get you in a figure four leg lock. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but this is what happened in evolution. We kicked their ass, because we're smarter than them. So on the macro picture, so it's kind of a funny question, because it kind of already happened. Yeah, <laughs> right? we, we didn't just outbreed them. We almost certainly engaged them in some sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat at some point. And so, uh, like, we would know a little bit more about anatomy. We know what's vulnerable to hit. I think they'd probably figure that out, too. And um, they're also not as dumb as exactly. common folklore has it. They also had art to, mm -hmm. to some Music, degree. Music, they imply here. Right. So they were pretty close to us. In fact, when you think of Neanderthals, and you get a sense of how vicious Homo sapiens are, uh -huh. right? Because there was another species that was really similar to us, and we shredded yeah. them. We literally made them extinct. The first thing we did was we put them out of business. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we were like Mitt Romney, and they were companies that, that Mitt Romney was harvesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and they were like, we were like Neanderthals, end of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, literally. So yeah, we win. And mm -hmm. and I know that's a macro thing, and they're talking about a fight. And of course, on a micro level, a couple people might lose the fights. But yeah. overall, it sounds like they're not as tough as we thought, yeah. and, uh, and we're significantly bright. I, I, th I personally think that we'd win. I would love to see this acted out on that show, uh, Deadliest Warrior, which unfortunately is canceled, but this would be perfect for it. Um, we also train in fighting. And look, I've done martial arts, a number of different types of martial arts over a number of years, and I think that it's worth a ton. Just in the, the practice, like most people, if you see just a random guy fight in a bar, the best thing he can come up with is, is a haymaker. Right. That's not how you fight. Uh -huh. And a little bit of training goes a long way, and I think that just our natural intelligence, perhaps a bit of speed, I think that we'd take him out. Okay, I'm such an ass. Because <laughs> I, I, when I was younger, I fought a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And all the guys with the martial arts stuff always amused me. Uh -huh. Well, no, no, and understand, so I'm not talking about karate or something like that. I the did. minute they got into some sort of karate no. <laughs> position, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. No, no, because I, I they would immediately God, swing so. wildly with their leg, you uh -huh. grab the leg, and it's the end of the fight. No, you never <laughs> kick <laughs> above knee. Oh, no, of course. No, of course. no never. No, no, I, you're, you're a professional. Krav Maga. <laughs> we, we know what we're talking about. All right, now, one more yes. fun thing about this is what if we fought the other yeah. similar species? Now, these guys were no Neanderthals. <laughs> they were much tougher. Yeah, these, these are much, they're, they're more removed from humans and much scarier. So Homo heidelbergensis uh, was up to seven feet tall with incredibly thick bones. <laughs> that um, dude sounds like a badass. Yeah. 
Uh, you don't want to mess with him. Uh, he would also have the reach advantage. Um, and I imagine he fights with like a club or something. They were also cannibalistic at times, which implies that they do hunt and kill other humans, Neanderthals, things and, like that. And if they meet you, they might eat you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and gain your strength. Uh, they also had brains smaller than us or Neanderthals, which would also imply that perhaps they'd fight like animals. And they, they say in this that humans' intelligence actually can work against us in fights because when we get wounded, we start thinking about it and we feel the pain. An animal, like a lion, you stab an animal, like a lion, it, it'll just fuck you up. It doesn't care about the injury. So yeah. they might be more like that. There's also another, this like, is... Like the honey badger. The honey he doesn't, badger doesn't, he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a fuck at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, and, so if you got a seven foot dude with these giant bones <laughs> who will eat you, and if he gets yeah. hurt, he gets angrier, that might be a tough fight. It's like the Hulk. Um, there's also uh, Paranthropus boise, which I, I believe that I'm, I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, often described as a gorilla head on a human body. He had powerful jaws awesome. and enormous teeth. Fuck that. <laughs> Can you imagine they put you in a ring? Yeah, human body. <laughs> fucking gorilla head. And he's got these giant jaws and teeth. Yeah. He's like, uh, oh, I was like, fuck this, man. Yeah. Here, here's how I'm going to use my intelligence by getting the fuck out of that ring. Yeah, you, in this case, you let the Wookiee win. You get out of the ring, man. Uh, and, now, and then I go invent a bow and arrow and be like <laughs> Exactly, and get somewhere high first, maybe in a tree. Right. Um, that, just one last fact about this, they, they really play him up, but to be fair, he's only 108 pounds, 4.6, or four, four feet, six inches tall. Oh, really? So oh. he's a little bit smaller, oh, still okay. gorilla head. Okay. You don't want to mess with that. <laughs> You know, you see the little dude, you're like, oh, I got this. He turns around and he's got a gut gorilla head. You're like, oh, Jesus, Lord mercy. Okay, hold up, dude, hold up. I'm reconsidering. Yeah. No, you don't want to mess with that. Either way, that seven-foot homo is going to win everything. <laughs>